Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mike B with Bombero Bus, and today we'll be putting some pop-out windows on the 65 Buck. Uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helps you. If not, leave a comment and let me know what's up. But either way, let's get to it. And the particular windows that we're gonna pop out are those rear quarter windows on both sides. Um, you can actually pop out any window in these cars today. They have even the rear window pop out. So everybody knows about the Safari windows up front. But for functionality, uh, I'm interested in those quarter windows in the rear. Now, why do I want to put these pop out windows in the back? You probably already guessed it. It's for better airflow back there. We do have a lot of passengers and my kids ride back there and it's summertime now so they'll be able to pop those windows open and be more comfortable i guess lastly but not least they just look cool i like the way they look i saw a few of them at the last show we went to and in the beginning i wasn't worried about having them on my car i was building it i just wanted to get it uh, registered and on the road but we're there now and it's summertime so uh, let's move forward and get these things. Here are done. the ones I'm gonna go with. I uh, got them off of the Samba for 150 uh, shipped. They're used, but that's okay because this isn't a show car that they're going on. It's a daily, drive it daily. And I just want these to get some more flow going back there, but they're in pretty good shape. Look for 150. The only thing wrong with them are uh, the seals need to be replaced and I'm expecting those in delivery today. So getting these on the Samba and just buying new seals um, was right at $200. The things are over 500 brand new. So I feel like it's a bargain and I had to jump on that opportunity. These windows are for the 65 and up. Um, we know that because they have the hinge here is secured actually through the glass and i believe 64 and down the hinge would be secured over here on the frame itself but i've already started pulling some of the old seal out it's not going to take anything too technical it's old and dry rotted and it's just coming right out pretty easy and we get a first look at the groove inside of there and it looks to be pretty clean so let me get a couple of minutes to remove this old seal and we'll move. Well, okay, we just got delivered um, some things. I'm just gonna pull out what's needed for this window right now. You got the seals, there's the new seals. And on that car, every seal is new, except for the ones around those windows. And those are about to come out, get some new ones put on them with those pop out quarters. You'll need these, this pop out hinge. These are for all years, and this uh, didn't come with the windows when I bought them, but basically this is going to screw to the car, and then the hinge is going to screw to that. you got to have them. Um, what else? Then we went ahead and snagged some new hardware for the hinges on the windows. So those are the things I got for the windows. Uh, on a side note, we got a steering dampener there for that car. And went ahead and got a gas tank gasket. And man, of course, a couple of little fuel filters. I usually throw them in the anytime I order because the goal is to try and make it <laughs> to $100 so you get the free shipping. But let's look at this on another side note, this little basket here. Here, I'll show you uh, what it is. And man, that one is my brother's. His car is down for the count right now. It's awaiting the new heads from a double A right there. And uh, that's a future video because that's the 1700 build we're working on. So anyway, while it's down, I borrowed his uh, basket and I fell in love with it because, man, there's nothing here for storage. That thing holds your drinks, man. You see, I got my tune box in there, all kind of little items. Uh, it's been a pretty cool little deal. So I went ahead and snagged one, but let's get back to this window and I'm going to pull the other seal off of this window 
and we'll get inside the car and show you what we're looking at. Okay, we're in the back of the car and I wanted to show you that uh, on this 65, it already has holes drilled in there to receive the, the base of the hinge. And of course, these windows are gonna have to come out. I've never done this before, but from what I hear, it's not too difficult to task. You basically, I've seen guys kick them, just kick them out. That's kind of got me nervous. I'll probably let my brother put some pressure on this with his foot, and I'll go on the outside to catch the window if it should drop. But shouldn't be too much of a trouble because these older seals here, look, they're not loose, but they're not tight, and there's no headliner in there. I don't, I don't like the headliners. Not yet, anyway. They get dirty. A uh, bunch of stuff. But up here is some more pre-drilled holes for those hinges. So all the holes are there. Now I have all the hardware. The next step is going to be to get these windows out. Scary. Okay, now I want to put this seal in. And the seal is, uh, I guess, bi-directional. It doesn't matter which way it goes on as far as this sharp lip. All that matters is that the fat end goes into that groove right there. So in that groove, I've already put a liberal amount of liquid wrench. So it's already in the groove. I'm gonna put some on the seal too, but you know, more so as we move along and I'll show you why. But I'm gonna get this first section that I wanna work on just started. All we're doing is getting it pretty much shaped around best we can. And then this is gonna be like most of the seals on the VWs. You look at this bead. I'm gonna take the bottom part of it and I wanna go ahead and already have it tucked in, tucked in like that. Now I'm gonna put some liquid wrench across the top part of it. Again, don't be shy with it. Now I'm going to take, I don't have a plastic tool for it. I'm going to use a screwdriver and that's okay, but I'm going to make sure this bottom bead is tucked into the groove and then take the screwdriver, tuck the top bead in and you just drag it, drag it across there. And that's how easy it goes in. Look at that. It's already seated on that side. It's already seated on that side. So I'll show you again. I'm going to take the bottom bead, tuck it into that groove. And then we're just going to take the screwdriver in between the metal and the rubber seal. Drag it. And it's going to seat both of those there you go so what happens is since i'm dragging that it's pulling this pretty tight and as i make my way around i'll have some slack when i get up to that far corner but this thing slides in the rail so the best thing to do is take up the slack along the way i can feel the tightness of this as i move forward and I get to this corner, I could have a bow like that in it. So all I have to do is grab this and slide it down. Take up the slack along the way. That way you don't get to the end and have a big, you know, bow in it like that. And it'll pretty much uh, work itself out. And now we wait. We're waiting. We're waiting for my brother to get home so he can be on the other side of that window or be the one to kick it out or vice versa, but it takes two people. And we could still break the window. It could happen. Uh, but now we're just waiting on him to get back from work and I guess we'll, we'll find out.
Good catch. <laughs> Control deck time. Yeah. Okay, so this hinge bar has got to go inside this hinge. And this hinge is a little bit bent, so maybe this will hold, but no, it won't. So see how loose that is? See how loose that fits in there? If I stand this window up, that's going to just fall right out. But what has to happen are those holes have to line up. So how can I keep those holes lined up without this thing sliding out when I lift it? Well, how I'm gonna do it is a little pro tip that I learned from watching uh, old Volks TV. And uh, it's gonna take a little piece of tape here. It's probably only gonna take one wrap around since it's electrical tape. And then I'll put another piece right here, not cover up any of those holes. And that should take up the thickness to where, uh, when I lift that window, this won't fall out of the hinge. So, thanks old folks. Okay, so that piece is in there now, the hinge bar. And you can see that that's what has to happen is there's some holes here that have to line up, right? So that bar you just saw me put in there is a little bit too thin to where when we lift this up, it just falls out. So that makes a pretty difficult time of trying to get those uh, screws in there. So that's what the little piece of tape was for. Saw that on Old Volks TV. Appreciate the pro tip. Okay, the next thing to do is like I showed you earlier on the V-Post, there's these five holes. They were already drilled into the 1965 model. Now, the hinge on that window has to go in there, the one we just worked on. So I have to get those holes lined up. Here we have the hinge plate cover. It's a little plastic piece. I got it and the pinch welt for the window for free from my buddy Jim, who's been working on VWs for over 40 years. So he's got a few things laying around and uh, when he does, he helps me out. So he had these items and he just gave them to me. Uh, up here, you see we've put the third screw in. So top, bottom and middle screws are short and they're in. There's two more to go and they're a little bit longer and here's why. They're gonna double for the hinge plate cover. So we're gonna get this on here. Line these up and put in those screws and we'll keep it loose for right now and I'll show you why. Okay, the hinge plate cover is on there. It's pretty loose for now, and it's because I'm going to put this pinch welt on. So this stuff has a channel on it, and it just goes over this ridge around the window. So we'll get that started. And then we'll trim this to fit and hide behind this cover. So this stuff fits pretty snug. You can imagine if you had a headliner here, it would fit even tighter, but that's gonna work for us. So let's get that buttoned up. And there it is all buttoned up. The last piece was trimmed and you know tucked behind the cover plate there. Those two are holding it on and it's a nice neat look. 
Um, that's going to be it, except for I don't have the hardware yet for mounting this, the hinge here. But I think you get the gist of it. i got to go run up to the hardware store, and I'm going to pick up uh, three screws for that. And there you go. That's the look from the inside. I like it. Nice and clean. I like the black pinch welt with the uh, ivory cover. And there's the look from the outside. So if you remember, there's a little extra piece of bling on the back of the bug now. That used to be just the black seal. And I like it. It kind of flows into the chrome uh, window seals for the driver and passenger side front so i think we're going to call that a wrap and that is a wrap i love it especially that back view you can see where uh gonna have a lot more flow going through there a lot more comfortable for me and the passengers so i'm glad that's done for 200 dollars, we got it did so if this video helped you feel free to like and subscribe if it didn't leave a comment let me know what's up but either way thanks for uh, checking out bombero bus and we'll catch you on the next one.